I have tried to come to like, you know, the psychedelic way of looking at things. I was reporting a story on psychedelics and specifically ayahuasca being used in coexistence ceremonies between Israelis and Palestinians. And I was also reporting on psychedelic use among settlers in the West Bank and seeing how that sort of like promotes the messianic consciousness that, you know, is not absent from the situation of what's going on in the West Bank. So it is something I think deeply about. And my baseline response is just like to, if you're going to apply psychedelic thinking to the situation, it's one that, it, you know, it makes basically is a perspective that takes trauma into account. And also what it is to think psychedelically is to be able to like move past binaries and be able to hold multiple truths at the same time and have them all exist and not be like, well, if my truth exists, yours can't or whatever. But I mean, I think that's the story of that land is there. It, there is so much contradictory or conflicting perspectives and that's what makes it so dynamic and explosive and, and also beautiful.